This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 uh, Texas Box. I'm sorry, welcome to Quick Hits. Um, it's good to be back, good to be back. Um, second show of the day. Um, and uh, I'm gonna keep making an issue of this. Um, uh, we're gonna get into it, but Usyk, I mean, uh, Fury is looking for an out in the Usyk fight. But before we get into that, please share, like, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to um, eight, 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. So uh, let's let's get into this, right? Because, um, and also please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing. Seeing all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Let's get into this. Um, Texas, um, there was an energy Fury. Fury wanted to fight Wilder. Fury wanted the Joshua fight, though it didn't happen, right? Like, there was an energy. He just wanted to fight Chisora for a third time. There's energy. He wants it. Um, he's not, he does not have that energy for Usyk. Um, not even a little bit. Not at all. Uh, and I, I kind of want to get into why that might be. Uh, well, we know why it might be, right? But I, I want to kind of get into the, to the evidence of this, right? So, you remember when, when, when Fury wanted to fight Wilder? He said, send the same contract that sent over to Joshua, and I'll sign it. Send it to me, I'll sign it, send, uh, and send it back. Um, you know, he just wanted to fight. Um, Chisora for a third time. He he just said that, right? He you know that was not that long ago. He wanted to fight Joshua. Now. Um, Tyson Fury took the social media to throw uh, a September 1st deadline, September 1st, so a week from now, to make a unification fight with Usyk. Fury says parties interested in putting on the fight have until that, that day, September 1st, to come up with the money it's going to take to convince him to continue in the sport. Otherwise, he intends to follow through with his retirement. Hey, guys, to all those students out there who want to make the fight, I'm going to give you all seven days. To the till the first of September to come up with the money. Fury said, "If not, thank you very much. It's been a blast. I'm retired." Okay, but he didn't say how much he needed, right? So it, it, it's a fool's errand. It doesn't matter what you. I mean, maybe, maybe they can come up with so much money he'll just take the fight. Um, but it, it seems like it's a fool's errand. He didn't give a number. He didn't say fifty, seventy-five. 200, 500, he didn't give a number. Um, he said, you know, he didn't give a number. So is this thing going to happen? No, because he's whatever number they come up with isn't going to be high enough, right? Like if he wanted 70, he'd say 70. And I don't even know what reasons. But I, I want y'all to check this. Somebody, somebody fact check this because I'm seeing, I'm seeing a report that he got um, about 39 million pounds Usyk, which is about 50 million in u.s dollars so someone do the math on that uh well someone fact check that I, because i 33 he got 33 million pounds and he got an additional 9 million pounds um which is about 42 million pounds or about 50 million dollars can somebody fact check that because i've heard other claims that he got 75 which seems unreasonable but i have no idea i heard he got 50 um but if you guys come over another number can you can you, can you cite that for me um because uh, I'm hearing all types of different things. Um, so does he want 50? Does he want 60? Does he want 75? But he didn't give a number because it, it feels like whatever number he gives isn't going to be enough, right? So he's just going to say, no, that's not enough to anything. It's looking for an out. He didn't say that with Fury. He didn't say that with Wilder. He didn't say that for a Joshua fight. A Joshua fight for Undisputed at that particular time would have been a bigger money fight. He knows that Usyk is different. He can sit there and outbox Anthony Joshua all day. He knows that he can beat Wilder. Chisora, he knows, is not a problem. Usyk is different. He doesn't know what to do with Usyk, 
right? Usyk's speed, his combination punch, he's right. He can't sit there and just win rounds with Usyk. So he's got to knock him out. I'm not saying he can't knock him out. He's got a lot of knockouts. I'm not saying he's the biggest hitter in the heavyweight division. He's not. But he's got enough power to knock people out. So he's got to figure out a way how to knock out a guy who's quicker, uh, more mobile, um, throws throws in combinations, and can get in and out on you. He's got to figure out a way to knock out that guy. And, you know, so he now he's weighing it. Well, I can retire now. My legacy intact. I'm still undefeated. One draw that everyone knows I won, and I, I correct it twice, right? He can walk away like that. And I can walk away feeling confident he's the best heavyweight of this era. And Usyk can't beat him. You know, and Fury's the bigger name, so he'll walk away as the king of the era. Weighing that against fighting Usyk, right? Like, if I lose to Usyk, Yes, I get the money, but what happens to my legacy? This is, this is actually a legacy play, right? Like, um, if it was like, let's say they offered him fifty million, he's not going to take fifty million. If it was about the money, he would take the fifty million, right? But this is about protecting his legacy. It's not about retirement. Wanting to stay retired because he just wanted to fight Cesaro. It's not about. It's not about retirement. Um, it's about his legacy. He wants to retire as the greatest. And, and like, if he fights Usyk and he loses. He can make the extra fifty million, but he's not going to retire undefeated and the best heavyweight of his era. And that's what it's about. You know, you, you don't hear Usyk do. Usyk, I want to fight Fury. If I can't fight Fury, I might be done. Right? Like, I want to fight Fury, or I'll be done. That's somebody who wants to fight. And remember, Usyk's thirty-five. Tyson Fury, on the other hand, says. Well, show me the money. Show me how much money, and then maybe I'll decide to fight. See the difference? Usyk, give me Fury or no fight. And he said, Fury says, give me money, and then I'll think about Usyk. One guy wants to fight Usyk. One guy wants money. He doesn't want the fight. And, and, and while uh, Fury's not going to take the fight. Like, I mean, that, that's my kind of hunch, but I, I, I can't be sure of that. Like I said, Fury is so far out of left field and sometimes of what he does. Um... I don't know. Like I, I don't think he's going to take this fight. I, I think he sees the challenge in it. I think he knows his best days are behind him. Uh, I'm not saying he's totally shot. I think he beats every heavyweight except for Usyk. I'm a big, a big supporter of you. I think Fury's an excellent heavyweight. Except that now you don't have an excellent heavyweight. You have an all-time great fighter who campaigns in heavyweight in Usyk. Right? Like he's great. Fury's a great heavyweight. Joshua's a very good heavyweight. Usyk's just a great fighter who fights at heavyweight. And, you know, unless he gets knocked out, he's going to win going away time and time again. Um, You know, I I don't see it any other way, right? Like, you know, he could get knocked out and knockouts happen. Like we said, Corey Saunders knocked out Klitschko, Rockman, uh, Andy. It happens. Buster Douglas, knockouts happen in the heavyweight division. So you can't UD12 everyone. You got to eventually knock someone out. And, And that's where Usyk would fall short, right? Like, he doesn't really carry the knockout threat in this division. Although he knocked out Baloo, who has decent wins as a heavyweight, but isn't really a heavyweight. Um, let me know what you guys think. Again, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I do not think Fury is taking this fight. I, this is not the energy for it. And, and like everything he's saying, you know, I'll give you a week to make an offer or I'll retire. Do you want the fight or not, bro? You want to take the best offer? Because they're going to offer you a ton of money. And if so, how much money do you need? You see, he didn't answer that, right? So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Are you guys pessimistic on this fight as I am? Do you think it's not going to happen? Do you think there's a good chance to happen? Do you think Fury's bluffing, trying to get as much money as he possibly can? Because that's a possibility. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. i keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is August 24th, 2022, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.